Ah, good old Team Bondi. Yeah, that sounds so naughty. This is the this is the greatest game they've ever made, bar none. Mm-hmm. This this is one of my favorites. This is also the only game they made before they shut down. <laughs> Therefore greatest. And I will go into that later because the development in this game is it's quite a story. Ah, Lenore. Now, unfortunately, this game requires a Rockstar Social Club account, so the first time you log in, it kind of just sits here like this. Oh, fantastic. And this isn't even an online account. This is just local, and it's still got to take forever to load. Who, who doesn't like a game that you have to log into a separate network to watch? Not me. But this little journey into 1947 L.A. after World War II and featuring cops, in case you weren't aware, ah. is rather dark. In the lightest of ways. You could almost say it's noirish. Noir, noir like. Noirish. Noir. French word for black. Ho ho ho. Getting all cultural here. So this game has. It's it's a fun game, but it's got a lot of weird little little quirks. Um, probably the biggest thing and its most famous thing is the facial animations, mm -hmm. which they work well enough that they're not too distracting. But sometimes they just told the actors to just go crazy, <laughs> and it shows. It's been a while since I've seen this game. I I am ready for this action. Oh, you've not seen this game like this. I guarantee it. Oh, good. I am excited. But we are going to start off with the tutorial levels because... Well, they're the only ones in the game where it doesn't matter how much shit you break. So it's nice to show off all the destruction you can do. <laughs> Which makes it that much more interesting. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car. I'm going to be Simple breaking a lot of automobiles. Vitality. Fair Good warning. Fun. Good. Good to know. This is going to make for a fun ride. If you are a generic 1940s car lover, this is not the LP for you. <laughs> I would certainly hope not. Oh, you're a beat cop. Oh, uh, Brendan McNamara. He is like the crazy game developer guy that led this game pretty much into the ground. But if it weren't for him, this game wouldn't have been made, so, you know, win-lose, I guess. Sure. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. At least they got an amputee horse, you know. <laughs> yeah. Give them some work. No, they've got to be humane about it. This is like fat, ugly Howard Hughes, I guess. Sure. Hollywoodland. A city of dreamers. You know, at the time, this was probably really good graphics. Um, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Except, the thing with this game is they started making it before the PS3 ever came out. So this is one of the transition games where they made all of their assets before they even knew what the PS3 was going to be like. Ah. And this game was originally uh, being paid for by Sony, so it was a PS3 exclusive. And then everything just sort of fell through because there was just like a development hell cycle for this whole game. Uh, that's a shame. This could have been a much better game. It's already good enough already. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But I don't know what they're talking about. I don't like make mistakes. <laughs> I'm an L.A. cop. You, know whether the guy you are perfect. Pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So when it comes to the cops in this game, just focus on the partner's name. Nobody else matters. Right. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 
and they're gonna say it a lot, but KGPL is just like the radio station frequency that the cops use. Oh. I'm not sure that it actually stands for anything, or if it's just like generic radio code. That's surprising. Normally it would be like, you know, home base. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Never the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. That's enough driving normally. Time to go nuts. <laughs> Come on, drift it. Aw, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, get used to this game cutting off audio very suddenly when it goes into a cutscene. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic. Man, I can't wait to have a hat like that. I need you guys yep, to try you gotta get the nice the hats. Hat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracle. Yeah, there was only a murder committed here. No, he's a low life. It's not really a murder. It's just a killing. It's like a low murder. Yeah, it's a shooting. It doesn't count for anything. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. Watch your language there, Don. This is a child's right, no this is an adults way. game we'll search right yep this is definitely for adults if you still don't come up with anything come find me and we'll talk it out so Two are these beat cops doing one. dick work yeah i mean detective work <laughs> oh you make that joke now the game makes that joke in just a little bit so don't feel too <laughs> special i'm ahead of the game look at this junk so we'll hear this musical cue and you obviously can't tell but there's a vibration in the controller that lets you know when you're near something. It's rarely ever a clue. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Is that the same bottle, or is that just another bottle? This is bottle? a different bottle. Oh, <laughs> because it looks the same. The only collectible that I even care about in this game are these newspapers that give us a bit of a side story. The mind is the final frontier. No, space is the final... Finalist Frontier? Cole, uh, take a look at this. Yeah, Cole. I'm looking at this. I'm busy. No, Cole, come take a look at that. Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course. Here's where the facial animation gets really weird. Watch Dr. Fontaine here. He says a normal sentence and then makes the creepiest face animations. For my work, the mind is the last great. I swear he's like squeezing out a fart in between each word. <laughs> that is fantastic. Courtney Sheldon. Because I mean, I I get it. Like they had all this brand new facial scanning technology, and they just told the voice actors like just go with it. That's what I wanted to talk. Make the faces you think would look the best on the game. Like, we need to make this technology pop. Just do whatever. I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again. And unlock the farts. <laughs> Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools. My intestines the right hurt. Hands, <laughs> I've been to visit they also, the like, hospital. try their hardest. Look at that face. <laughs> to make him just, like, the most evil-sounding person. <laughs> Son, do you know what IBS stands for? Do you understand what a morphine drip can do to the mind? A number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Shelton. And your penance. I'm a mass serial killer. In your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I I can't thank you enough. I'm not I'm in college, but I haven't hit puberty yet. <laughs> My voice is cracking. Doctor. Is there a cure? That he cannot hope to cure. For whom he can only smooth the path to death. That's that's a reasonable thing to say, but it's not a reasonable way to say it. <laughs> it's Look, just... I'm not promising a cure, but if they die less slowly. I, I always get landed with this crap. Did he just call me crap? Probably. You dozed off for about what, like five minutes there? We're never going to find it. It's a waste of time. 
That looks like blood. Pick up the bottle. This is no bottle. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. That wasn't that deep. It was pretty shallow. <laughs> so this this actually isn't a clue that matters. I could have skipped this. No, they just wanted to show off the blood for all those squeamish types out there. Oh yeah, you're gonna get really faint at the sight of that blood. <laughs> so here we have our notebook where we can look at this useless clue. <laughs> And wow, Cole, when did you have time to draw that? Uh, he was drawing it while he was looking at it, duh. And holding his flashlight. He's a multi-talented man. What now? Have a good look around, it could be anywhere. So you may have noticed that in our search for the gun, we saw flashing light up here. Yeah. It's almost like it's leading you to it. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, you don't the explain there. the trick. Now the audience oh, knows how you did don't it. Don't hurt yourself. Oh. Worst magician ever. Guess that's why he became a cop. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. And now to make this evidence disappear. Also, the person that owns that building is going to be pissed when they see their electric bill. <laughs> How is it even blinking? Somebody has to be in there turning it on and off. Well, with all the other lights being off, how is it even blinking on? It's a good point. Maybe the ghost of Scooter Payton is turning it off and on and led me to the gun. <laughs> oh, Scooter. Like, why would you... Why would you toss the gun up on the roof? Why wouldn't you just take it with you? I, I don't know. I guess he figured that there wouldn't be a light blinking and there a window in a perfect angle. Could show some initiative, Ralph. Better question is, uh, why is he picking that up with his bare hands? This isn't CSI. Okay. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. But he just used the zoom in function on that window to figure out that there's a gun on the roof. You may notice, especially by the way he runs, that Cole is a bionic officer, and they gave him a super secret lens in his eyeball. <laughs> so he's like the $600 man? Given inflation at this time? Yeah, that's like $2 billion. Yeah, okay, good. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't let him do it. Yeah, right? Oh boy, they put me in the driver's seat again. Oh, <laughs> that's a bad idea. Whoops! Good start. Look out! Yeah, look out. You're the best driver on the force. Hey, I can slalom these light poles like nobody's business. <laughs> it's a good thing they made these cars out of steel back then. Nowadays you couldn't do that. I don't know, I've played enough Grand Theft Auto to know that I totally can do that nowadays. <laughs> Watch out for the civilians! Eh, there's no civilians out now, it's nighttime. They're all low life shooting victims. Or beat cops. Why not? You're gonna kill someone! Yeah, <laughs> I think we're well past yeah, that. A little late for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna find it maybe a little uh, hypocritical the things you can and can't do to other people. He honked, so I knew to get out of the way. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Slow down. That lamp post did not honk. Good parking job. They actually do park it quite well for me. <laughs> Even without the hood. <laughs> that went flying off Officer like three Spelson blocks gun. away. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Mythic Wesson. Well, it's got a trigger and it shoots. <laughs> what else you need to know? I assume it shoots bullets. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not what is this, Pawn Stars? How does he know so no, much about a gun? 
<laughs> you seem to know a lot about the He weapon. is I the idiot them. savant of guns. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies? Did we take the bullets out of the gun? There were no bullets in that gun. Here's my Smith we must have. I mean, mind if I, I imagine it went into evidence. This is about something bad, right? No, we're the good cops. We Mom come around when good things happen. <laughs> you see it on there? Oh, God. Now I gotta read. Uh, can, can, can you do this? Reading. Can you point with your finger? Point my ugly, detailed finger. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. And this game will remind you heavily that it's set in it's the 40s be because Anytime. all of these names are old people Always names. Happy to help out the LAPD. <laughs> also, you know the dates. Wait. Wait. Oh. Don't think this is anything. Bullshit, that's clearly a duck. <laughs> that is nothing. It is quite clearly a morphless bo uh, blob. There's a soul of a bird trapped in here. <laughs> I can hear it rattling around. I'll he's just take this in. in evidence. Let's see if he's at home. <laughs> Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Wait, what time of night is this? That you're just gonna show up at some dude's house, like, hey, so we saw that you bought this hey, gun. They should say the time each time I arrive at a location, so we can check next time. Alright. Next right. Yeah, next right. And since there aren't any GPS's during this time, I can just press X to ask my partner where to go. Oh, good. Doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good. Oh shit, I broke the car. <laughs> oh no. What are you supposed to drive? Did the wheel fall off? Is that what I saw? <laughs> yes, the wheel fell off. The hood is now on fire. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and we're just gonna take some other dude's car. Not on your life! Here you go! Yep. <laughs> Sir, I'm clearly reversing. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, parallel parking. It's tough. <laughs> I realized at the very last second here that I wasn't making the right turn, so... Now, now we're on the right track. Okay, good. Just keep going straight. Doesn't matter what's in front of you. Keep going straight. So when you take a civilian car, you can't hear the radio dispatch, so you can't get like the street crimes that'll pop up randomly as you're driving through the overworld. I guess that makes sense. So there is sort of an advantage to keeping the cop car. Keep going on this road. Oh, she got lucky. Oh. And I love that sometimes Cole just like smack talks your partner. Like, thanks for the advice, asshole. <laughs> right? Oh, that person did not make it. Right off the bridge. She's fine. She is fine. <laughs> sure. You can just hear the car is struggling at this point. Oh, it is not doing well. Oh, that's a little late. Or a little early. Nice brightly lit advertisements. The Cola King. He's well, the King of Cola. Ooh. It's not Royal Cola, though. You mean Royal Crown? Yes, that's what What I if meant. you put Cola King and Royal Crown together? Schroeder, you could get two. Cola Crown. Or Cola Cola Royal <laughs> King. <laughs> oh good, it's right here. I don't even have to count. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27. It's plated with the programs. 40s. What are you doing I up so be. late? What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. Ooh, fiery. 
Scooter? Yeah, sometimes he gets really angry, but for the most part, he tries to be reserved. Mm hmm. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh, man. Oh, it's ready, just tough guy? instantly into a fight. So there is, there are certain bad. times in this game where I'll be brawling. Okay. And it will never Go. not be funny. <laughs> just keep dodging him and punching him in the gut. Ooh, that wasn't good. So what I tried to do was a grapple attack, which you can only do when somebody's stunned. Ah. <laughs> that was the most anticlimactic fight. They all are. <laughs> they really all are. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Sure, Ralph. Caught you off guard? He had like a Ralph. huge wind-up. <laughs> I like how we just immediately go for the rest. Didn't even like get any more evidence. Just, yeah, you're the guy. He punched a cop now. Okay. Oh well. Now, yeah, now no. retroactively, it's worth it. Yes. His names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation, or stick our schlongs in. And I can come out of it with a concussion. Call it in, partner. <laughs> and leave the book where you He's found not even it. talking to Phelps. He's just talking to a corner. Yeah, he was. <laughs> so that's our first case down, and we're already at like 1-0. We're doing pretty well.